In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a traffic light and to get that traffic light to interact with your robot using a broadcast. Now if you have a look at the moment I have got a robot which can navigate a simple maze fairly well. However, um, my robot also needs a traffic light in order to complete the criteria. So I am going to create a new sprite. Um, I will import it. And I already have some traffic light photos, so I will import them, or traffic light images. Um, there is my green light, and I'll give it some more costumes, so the orange and finally the red. The red is a bit larger as you can see so I'm going to have to reduce it a little in size. Hopefully now it's about right. Let's compare. Oh, now it's a bit too small. Okay, now it should be right. Now I'm going to put my traffic light somewhere out of the way. Maybe here. If I don't want it to take up much space I probably should make it a bit smaller. Okay, now I can kind of get it down here in the corner. And I also want to make a script for the traffic light. So I will begin my traffic light script with when the green flag is clicked. And then I want to get it to run the program forever. Mm. So as soon as it begins, I want it to be in the green costume. The green costume is screenshot blah blah blah. So I will say looks, switch to costume, which is this one, the green suit. Then wait five seconds. Then I can actually duplicate this a couple of times because I'm going to need it each time I change the costume. Okay. And the second costume is screenshot one, the yellow light, and then finally screenshot two. So already, if you watch, I now have a traffic light which changes every five seconds. However, you'll notice now when it changes to red, our robot does not stop, so therefore is di disobeying the law. Um, so what we can do is to make our robot more law abiding, we can use a broadcast. Um, broadcast can come from here. And we're going to make a new broadcast called Stop Robot. Now, when we go to our robot, we can select when I receive stop robot. And we also have to use something called a variable. Um, and the variable we need to use is called broadcast received okay and so when I receive stop robot we're going to set broadcast received to true and then down here we can add another if variable. We can actually put it 
right at the bottom which is if broadcast received equals true so we're going to use an operator we're going to use a variable broadcast receives and then we can simply type in true in this box if broadcast receives equals true and then we're going to get our robot to wait for five seconds now in theory we should have a law abiding robot uh, let's check so it's green Our traffic light doesn't seem to be changing now. There's a problem with its script, I think. Oh no, our traffic light's changing. And our robot has stopped. So now you know how to send a message from your robot to your um, to, from your traffic light to your robot to get your robot to stop um, there's just one problem and that is now it seems our robot is stuck forever so we'll have to fix that up aha I think I know what we need to do okay Okay, set broadcast received to true, wait 5 seconds, and then we're going to set broadcast received, and, um, oh yes, we're going to get a variable, and set broadcast received to false. Now let's check what happens. So it's green, it's orange, it's red and our robot has stopped, good. But now we've got to see if our robot will resume and it has. So that's, boys and girls, is how you create a traffic light with changes of color and also how you get the traffic light to broadcast a message to the to your robot in order to get your robot to obey the traffic lights